Mama Step, and I am making a wonderful soup for you today. Um, I like to call it an immune boosting soup. Not that it's a miracle worker, but it kind of supports you when you have a cold and you're not feeling so well, or if you're just hungry and you want some good soup. So what I've got here is I've concocted a little recipe with some uh, chopped chicken. I use some uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I browned them in some olive oil, and I've added to that some onion, some carrot, and some celery. So this is all going to cook down together. I'm just going to let it cook until the veggies get nice and tender. So that's where you will start um, to move on to the next part of this soup recipe is when those onions become translucent and the carrots are nice and soft and the celery. And if you chop the celery quite small, it will cook faster than you expect it to. So that's a, that's a good tip. So once you get to this point, and let's pretend like this is all tender now and ready to go. We're gonna add some garlic. I've got some garlic cloves here. I chopped up three big cloves of garlic, minced it up. Uh, actually, it's a little bit bigger than a mince. You can mince it nice and small if you'd rather, or you can use some jarred garlic. Just about three teaspoons of that would be fine. I'm adding some basil paste, just because y'all know I love basil, and I'm kind of giving this a bit of an Italian flair. Um, you you can add, let's go with the next thing for the for the cold fighting benefits, you know this is cayenne pepper. And cayenne, I'm gonna use a teaspoon of that. It kind of helps open your sinuses and it just warms you. Now we're not putting in so much that it burns your tongue. It just kind of has a warming effect that's really nice. And then I'm going to put in some thyme. Now this thyme, I'm just gonna use about a half teaspoon of that. And they say that thyme helps with sore throats and that kind of thing. You know, people have made thyme uh, tea for years, and that is something that's helpful to some people. And then I've got some red pepper flake. You don't have to add that if you don't want to go any hotter than we already are, but if you like it, add a nice half teaspoon or so. There we are. So we just stir that in, and then we're going to add in a little salt. You could salt the chicken before you start this, or you can salt it now, about a teaspoon, because you can always check it later to see if you wanna add a little bit more salt. So that's not a problem at all either. So either place, you just don't wanna over salt any broth. You can always add more, but you can't take it away once it's in. Then we're going to add in the broth. So here's chicken broth, you can use chicken stock, whatever you have, you can even just use some water if that's what you have in your house. Uh, no need to rush out and buy this if you don't feel well, just use some water. And then the magic happens when this comes to a boil, you'll add some spinach, just a couple of handfuls, maybe two cups, and some tortellini. I have 10 ounces of cheese tortellini here like that. And it's found in the refrigerator section, frozen, and even on the pasta aisle. So you can see what it looks like right here in front of me. Isn't that a beautiful soup? It's just delicious, and I hope that it helps you 